Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the next edition of Pond Key Hockey Triple A edition. As we're talking about the AHL, JJ Paterka winning the Player of the Week for the period ending January second. Um, he began the week making his National Hockey League debut, and he finished it by tallying five points in two games for the Amherst, the Rochester Americans, of course, for people that don't know the abbreviation. Paterka was recalled by the Sabres on Tuesday and skated in his first NHL game as Buffalo hosts in New Jersey on Wednesday, and then visited the New York Islanders on Thursday, and then returned to Rochester um, to the trip to New England and posted a goal and two assists, according to the AHL release all in the first period during the Amherst 5-3 loss at Springfield on Saturday. Uh, he finished the busy week tallying a goal and an assist to help them win 4-3 the, or, um, at Hartford on Sunday. So he helped them get to a win and play great in a loss. The 19-year-old Paterka leads all AHL rookies with 19 assists and ranks second in rookie scoring with 25 points in 25 games. So the guy is a rookie with the obviously veterans, yes, as a taxi squad now, but for most of the season, the veterans have been down at the AHL level. And with the taxi squad this year, you're still going to have veterans kind of flowing through at the AHL level more because you can only be on for 20 continuous days. There's more rules protecting the players, and it's only active right now. As I talked about with the show with Steel Flyers, the JB and Steel Show, check that out over at Steel Flyers. It'll be posted on my channel at about 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock tonight in the Raw Skype version. But, um, yeah, but anyway, check that out. But Paterka, uh, he's a fantastic uh, rookie um, in the AHL level. They're playing great. And obviously, the taxi squad, yeah, you're not going to have as much veterans, but like I said, the rules with the taxi squads help to not be able to have players just get buried and not play a lot of games. So you're still going to have those veterans he has to play against more so than last season when it was really with the taxi squad a lot of youngsters going up against each other, which was seeing then higher totals by youngsters than usual in the HL. But it's also because the young talent's getting better and better as time goes on. I'm um, in the AHL, NHL, and ECHL levels. It's really starting to show big time, so uh, that goes a long way as well, and Paterka is one of the biggest talents at the AHL level right now, and is going to be obviously a big part of that Sabres team, that's why they drafted him where they did, and he's going to be a huge part of uh, their team going forward, and obviously was a big part of the World Junior Championships team for Germany with Florian Ilias and Tim Stutzler, so um, he's a huge player already, he has been huge on the international stage, now is huge over here in North American hockey, and probably is close even at 19 years old to being ready to be up at the NHL level when you're already the best or at least tied for the best rookie at the AHL level, well you're pretty darn close to being ready for the NHL level at that point. I hope you all enjoyed this video on JJ Paterka uh, winning the player of the week to round out the week that ended January 2nd. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out. Stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget.